Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nikolaita for those of you who see me for the first time and I'm no code developer and UX UI designer. In today's video I'm trying to recreate one of the animations that I did on my website which is made in Webflow but in Wix Studio. Let me show you which one. So one of my followers on Instagram asked me if it, this animation is possible to be recreated in Wix Studio. I did a bit of research and of course I already made one in Wix Studio as a demonstration. And this is how the infinite marquee effect looks like on Wix Studio. It's a little bit faster, but it can be adjusted and I'll show you how. Let's get into it and I'm going to break it down for you step by step. So first we can uh, break down the structure of um, the skeleton. I used one of the templates that Wix Studio offers just for me to fill in that gap with the um, logos. And first we have the section which is uh, named logo marquee then i have a stack of elements because the animation will be actually attached to the stack not the individual images and then each image has the same exact size as every other image in the stack and on the whole stack we add the actual animation the other stack is for the text called sales in order to achieve a endless looping we have two stacks of the same amount of images so we can have like the seamless rotation of the logos so they seem like they are not ending and then we have another section which is including the text which is also looping in the same endless loop and having the marquee infinite marquee effect with added a symbol and it's absolutely in the same principle but let's recreate it so you can see how it's done First we are going to add a section, then we are going to add the images, I'm going to duplicate them, then I'm going to mark them with shift and then choose stack, then I'm going to change one of the images just for the sake of having uh, different images, I'm just going to add random things not the logos but you can put uh, logos testimonials you can put uh, any kind of messaging that you think it might fit but for demonstration purposes i'm just going to put these photos okay and now when we select the stack on the stack we will go to animations and effects and then on loop we are going to add cross then adjust animation and choose left preview exactly we're gonna make the duration to be 13 seconds okay and all we need now is to select the stack again not the section but the stack and then duplicate the stack then make sure that it's positioned exactly on the same spot now that they match we are going to give the second one a margin of 100% from the left because that's how the rotation goes from left and now when we preview as you can see now we have mismatch of the two stacks one of them is slower one of them is faster so we have to make them the same speed in order to have um, cohesive movement between the two Let's change their settings as well. 13 seconds was uh, too slow. We are going to make it also 6. Let's preview. So now we can see that we have a gap in between the two um, bands of photos. And we want to fill in this gap by creating a duplicate of the stack. But making sure that the stack is not within another stack, but rather in the same section. Let's try. Okay, let's preview. It seems that it's complete. And the same effect can be achieved with the text, but as you can see, it's a bit tricky because some of the elements can be repeating twice. You have to make sure that the sequences with your uh, word and element are matched perfectly and that the distance in between is not too big. Let's see how this can be done with the H2. 
we are adding another section and changing again the background to white changing the height adding a text from the quick add the size can be 30 pixels we put sales maybe we can put something maybe we can say summer collection and in this speed-up clip, I'm basically looking for a symbol that can be recognized in the web page as a HTML element or in general as an element that can appear on the page without a problem. And I'm putting it behind and in front of the text. And later in the clip, you will see how I'm also making sure that I'm aligning the duplicated H2 with the symbol and the text to follow in such a sequence that it can seem that they are part of one. We are going to add the same loop effect animation, cross, right, left, and make it 10 seconds, preview. Okay, so it's going in the same direction, maybe just make it to go not from the left, but from the right. So we can see how it moves in the other direction. Okay, we need to now fill in the gap between this one. How we're going to do it? We're going to duplicate again the H2. We're just going to delete summer and we're going to leave collection. And it's going to be summer collection like this. And then hopefully that first symbol will connect with the last collection on the right. But before that, we are going to align them on the same exact space. Also on the zero. Make it also 67 by height. Okay. And now, since we chose the opposite direction, we are going to put 100% on the right. And make sure that you choose the docking so it actually catches those 100%. And now when we play, it should connect the two sentences sim seamlessly. But there is a slight gap if you can see, so we can edit that by making the margin to 95 or maybe 98. Let's test again. Okay, maybe 99 is better because there is a slight overlap with the symbol, 99. Yeah, now it looks a little bit... Okay. And here is what happens when you try to design when you are tired. Basically, you repeat mistakes and you're trying to tweak uh, your elements in order to fit the exact sequence. And here is the adjustment of the, the size of the letters. They're like pixels and also the length of the whole sentence and the connection with the next uh, H2 that is going to follow. So it's just tweaking. In order to have it all stretch perfectly, I'm going to just minimize the font a bit and I'm going to stretch the whole H2. Then I'm going to delete this one. And now it seems like it's going to fit perfectly. Now we are duplicating. And again, we are going to align it to the zero. Okay. And then we're going to give it a margin on the right and dock it on the right with a hundred percent and test it out again. Now it seems much more cleaner and connected without noticeable gaps. At least I don't notice any gaps at the moment. So it's summer collection, symbol summer collection. And this is how you can create this murky element in your uh, Wix Studio website. If you have any questions or suggestions for another tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. And if you find this video useful, make sure to leave a like, comment and also subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!